Hello to my Capricorns. Capricorns, bonus reading for you all. Bonus reading. Bonus reading, Capricorns. Happy pink full moon in Scorpio. Happy pink full moon in Scorpio and Scorpio. That's right. Some of the things you all can do during the full moon are divination. Um, you can cleanse and charge your tools under the moonlight. Remember, rule of thumb, three days prior, three days after. Just rule of thumb, uh, three days prior to it being 100% illuminated, three days after. So if you didn't get a chance, please, Capricorns, don't stress yourselves out, okay? <laughs> you can still do, you know, the, the full moon um, rituals. You can cleanse and charge your crystals in the moonlight. You can make moon water. You can harvest your herbs or your herbs at this time that they're easier to dry. A full moon is a time for protection, healing, guidance. It's a time if you um, read your own cards, read your cards, pull your cards. If you're learning how to read cards, I do a lot of teaching when I'm reading, you know, the spread. I'm going to pull a 12 card spread in a second. But, um, you know, read your own cards. If you feel like you have a favorite reader, schedule an appointment during this time. Like I said, it's a very sensitive time. You have a lot of questions. Um, if you have a local reader you go to, go to your reader or whoever you feel like, okay, is going to help you to answer some questions. Hopefully this bonus video will help people to kind of tie some things together. The full moon may be a time where your intuition and your creativity is at its peak, right? So this is also a time for banishing and letting go of some things that you feel are not healthy for you, right? Rose colored glasses have been, are being gently or even forcibly removed. We're still in a cycle. Protect your energy. That's right. Full moon can make us feel energized, but it's also common for the energies to be very intense and emotionally draining. So if you feel low when you think about certain people, places, and things, get right on back to your purpose. Get right back to your purpose. Don't forget to pull your bird chart, uh, um, Capricorn. Uh, find out what your Chiron is. We have a link to pull your, um, your bird chart and your Chiron below. In the description, please, please, please pull it. You want to focus on something else besides, and remember, Mercury is retrograde until the 25th of April. So if you've been waiting on some news about something, it may feel like things are getting clearer. Some messages are coming through a lot clearer now that Mercury is about to go station direct. But don't forget, like I said, pick up a book. You all, your earth signs deal with the physical existence of things. Pick up a book, do something where you're increasing your knowledge. Mercury is the uh, planet of messenger and um, communication, but it's also the planet of knowledge and learning. So it also connects us with sib uh, sibling relationships. So if you've been thinking a lot about your siblings, if you have them, um, if you've been thinking about trade, travel, commerce, if you've been thinking about um, your factual memory versus somebody else's, your opinion versus somebody else's, and it, it takes you to a dark place, you can replace all of those things by saying, hey, you want to learn something new. You want to do something that's going to nurture your spirit. Just want to make sure I help you all with all of this. Because a lot of times when Mercury goes retrograde and we get closer and closer to a full moon, which we're in the full moon phase, you know, it can be intense. Let's go. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity. Whatever comes out in the card, I'm going to pull a 12-card spread and see what comes out on your major or minor arcana. Let's go. Lego. Lego, Lego, Lego. Let's see where you are in your journey. Talking to you wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, not just your sun sign. Okay. All right. First card out of the deck is the Ten of Cups. Somebody definitely desires peace and harmony within your relationships. This is definitely something that you can focus on during Mercury Retrograde. Like I said, it goes, it's retrograde up until April 25th. And um, if that's something that you desire in your home life, like first of all, think, okay, is your home life consist of you and your parents or you and a parent or you and your children or you and a child or you and... Uh, your um, significant, what does family mean to you? This is a great time for you to define what family means to you, okay? But the first person you want to be at peace with is yourself, right? Because how are you going to know, you know, what you want to make sure you're pouring into yourself? Speaking of, um, speaking of water, okay? Water symbolizes, um, emotions, intuition, quality of your relationships, friendships, spirituality, right? 
Next card we have is Six of Wands. I see you achieving that. Here we also have the Knight of Cups, right? We also have the Eight of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Pentacles, right? So somebody desires at the root of things, right? You desire peace within your family. That's first peace within self, right? Because you want to be the energy you desire to attract. And then also um, peace with your relationship with money. Because we're talking about relationships, right? Relationship with money, right? So the first energy is that you're not waiting for someone to come save you. I do see somebody having have a new love coming across your path. After having relationships where you felt like, okay, this is the one. This is the absolute one. I'm talking about it could be a man or woman or whatever, whoever you're attracted to. You could have thought that was the one, right? And it came in and disrupted your peace. So you have to know that your peace is paramount you know, um, Capricorn, and that you will, you are the energy you desire to attract. So if you are a person who over pours into over nurtures relationships to a point that creates a codependency, you may want to take the um, rose colored glasses off and say, you know what, maybe I did pour more into friendships or romantic relationships or a job. All of those are under the, under the relationship of umbrella, work, family, home, family, you know, Friendship could be like family. And so I do see somebody learning how to balance those things out so that you are the energy you desire to attract, pouring into yourselves. Six of cups, I mean, six of wands, excuse me. So I definitely see you in the saddle. I do see um, you're not looking for someone to save you, right? Not that you were ever looking for someone to save you, but sometimes people don't even realize, you know, that's something that you saw in possibly in your household, people pouring you know, a little bit more into everybody else. And maybe you were looking for somebody to save you from some things, right? But, and so I do see somebody spending more time, less time focusing on pouring into everybody else and more time pouring into yourselves during this time. So that's a great thing. Again, and as a result of it, you're going to see more money coming across your path, right? Because you're not looking for other people's acceptance and approval. You're being very um, conservative when it comes to your time and your money, right? So yeah, that's what's going on right now with somebody. So this is good. Don't forget, like I said, there's tons of material out here, books, uh, videos, you know, those kind of things. Try to stay away from, you know, any, there's so many things on these streaming services, but try to stay away from anything that would trigger um, that will trigger you to go back to a place of feeling like you've just, you know, reminded you of how much you poured into energies and then what you didn't get back. So try to stay away from those. So, you know, um, as much as you possibly can keep your, try to keep your vibrations as high as you can by pouring into yourself. So it's just saying to you, everything is fine. See this, even the color pink rose colored glasses have been removed have been removed and so now it's time to pour into you you're just moving through a rite of passage here's the six of swords right here you're moving through a rite of passage and you have ancestors you have a lot of ancestors that's helping you through your rite of passage that's helping you to move forward so take your time if you are if you i feel like somebody could be in a in a space right now where um I feel like somebody could be in a space right now where you feel like, um, here we also have the five of pentacles. Like I said, we're just doing the 12 card spread and we're going to put some oracle cards and lay it, and lay it out. And then we also have the, the um, four of pentacles. We also have the seven of cups. And then also the nine of pentacles. Yeah, so what's pretty unique here is, okay, so we have the, we have... We have the um, Ten of Pentacles where you're no longer looking for people's acceptance and their approval to make money however you're making money. I do see where somebody has definitely had, you know, stay connected to people who gave you the cold shoulder. Again, sources saying don't give it a whole lot of time. Be very conservative with your time is very important because somebody has spent a lot of time thinking about that um, and looking for people's acceptance and their approval. And then also the nine of pentacles again, right? So the number nine, the number nine. So we got eight, nine, ten here. The number nine is definitely a progression of things walking backwards and forwards. So what you desire is peace and harmony within 
um, the dynamics of family, but you have to bring the peace. You have to be the peace that you desire. Okay. So write your, whatever your definition of peace is. Um, cause I definitely see that you invest a lot or you've invested a lot in a lot of others. You know, you've invested a lot in your friendships, your romantic relationship, and you desire that to come back to you, right? And so you have things coming your way pretty fast. Here we have the seven of cups here. You have you have the things that you pray for coming to you really fast. And I see you being victorious at doing that. But somebody really, really has to is learn you're learning how to this is the this is the key right here. First of all, recognizing that when people give you the cold shoulder, that's it. That's not the time for you to keep warming up to people when they give you the cold shoulder. Accept it the first time. If they don't, if they don't, um, if they don't, hmm, if they don't give you clear answers. And again, I'm looking at even in friendships and things too, somebody desires to be in loving relationships, you know, with other people. That's like family too. That could be like somebody you grew up with when you were, you know, those kind of things. Somebody is learning that if people don't give you clear, straight answers for what you need, because again, source knows how to get uh, messages through to you all. That's where the rose colored glasses need to be removed so you can learn how to pour more into yourself to, to create the life that you want. This is about the physical existence. The root chakra is about the physical existence of things. So somebody that, like I said before, you may have known since you were a kid, um, may have given you the cold shoulder when it comes to some things, right? Where you may be looking for some kind of physical explanation, like what what did I do? What did I say? I look at the um, cups energy again, water, sacral chakra connects us with the ages of six years old and 14 years old. Remember that as people are building their relationships and seeing what their inner child needs to feel safe and your inner child needs to feel safe. That could have changed for some people. So some people, if you're looking for them to say, you know, um, I don't, you know, want certain things to be around my kids, or you may say that to certain people, like, I don't want certain things to be around my kids or whatever the case may be. Then I feel like somebody, you're going to respect that. I feel like that's what you may be saying. If you have kids, I feel like you may be saying that to you know, family members or friends that's like family. I just don't want my kids to be contaminated with certain things, right? Which makes some people feel uncomfortable. Make you make if it's if you're on the receiving end of that, it may because I'm looking at kids here, or you may be the person that has kids and say, I don't want my kids to be around X, Y, and Z. You know, um, but either way, I do see you back in the saddle, victorious, learning how to invest more into yourselves. Um, learning how to increase your knowledge and your wisdom. Okay. Yeah. And moving on, you know, moving on from something, moving on from something. Yeah. And guess what? You're well within your right to decide who you want your inner child. Even if you don't have kids, I'm talking about your inner child too. You're well within your right to decide who you want your inner child around and who you don't as well. If you don't have any kids, right? Um, cause that's important too. rose colored glasses again, removed. Let's close it out. That's what I'm seeing here for you all. So yeah, this is where, again, you're investing more in yourself. So it's just making sure you're financially independent, um, that you will, uh, some one day, like I said before, I feel like somebody could have family members that may get offended. If you don't want your kids or child or your, even your inner child around certain things, learning how to protect your ear gate and eye gate, right? Um, maybe because they don't understand what your journey is, where you're headed, those kind of things. Um, so a lot of changes happening here. Angel Uriel, the angel of prophecy and wisdom. So prepare for increase in pay because now somebody is thinking about, okay, you're not being stuck or fixated on people who don't want you around their inner child and you who don't want people around your inner child, right? So now somebody's taking it back to 
the ages of eight years old and 14 years old and just that younger you and how you would have protected yourselves, right? So you have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations, their emotions, their moods, their feelings. So you want to prepare for increase in pay. You are who your person prayed for. So it's time to start dating again. Don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. And of course, obviously, I'm talking about if you don't have your person. This is if you have your person, obviously, you're not dating again. But So don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. Get locked in and laser focus, right? And so somebody apologizes for hurting you. Um, yeah, it's time to open your vault door. So your peace is paramount. It's two types of situations here. Like I said before, um, something that happened to do with someone's inner child, not necessarily feeling, um, you know, protected, right? A um, lot of things, a lot of things. Somebody's sacral chakra was out of alignment, right? So again, drinking more water, spending time near bodies of water, those things, learning how to invest back into yourself. Um, recognizing that when people give you the cold shoulder, see this snow right here, which is also a form of water in a different form, you know, just a, you know, a colder, you know, form that you're not warming up to that again, not warming up to that idea again. Um, I feel like you all are going to invest in your relationships where you are now speaking up and letting people know what works best for you and what doesn't work, you know, best for you. Um, and also just protecting you know, just protecting yourselves, learning how to protect your energy. All right, let's close it out. 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 This is all about, like I said, this is about um, breaking cycles and chains and curses. You know, just because your parents may have let you, you know, run up and down the street and hang out at your friend's house and this, that, and the other. Somebody's being a little bit more mindful of what they're allowing their inner child to be in your ear gate and your eye gate, right? So here we have 17. I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. So one in seven is eight. You're definitely choosing to land on the light side of the number eight, which is a person who knows that you have purpose. You're everything that you create. Speaking of water, we're talking about creativity, joy, fertility, all the seeds that you plant is um, going towards creating the life that you want, the life that you desire. So that's reading more books, learning more things, traveling, doing things where you're increasing your wisdom and knowledge, not for the purpose of being accepted and being approved by people. You're definitely not a person who, please pick me. I just want to be a part of your group. I just want to be a part of, but I definitely see somebody learning how to invest more in their creative process, like how you're creating the life that you create, right? What is going to shape and mold how you create the life that you want. So uh, for instance, somebody could be a financial planner. So maybe you know, learn a little bit more about numbers and financial literacy or whatever it is so that you're trying to create the life that you want. And so just recognize that when cycle, when rose colored glasses are removed and you're saying, okay, this is the end of the road in some of my relationships because we are creating a very different lives, life for ourselves. And that's where it is. That's where it is. Last card. Let's close it out. Last card and let's close it out. So I definitely see you moving on, you know, from some things. So abundance. Abundance is my birthright. There's a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I'm attracting everything I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose. Surround me. I am true to myself, right? Yeah, I am true to myself. You know how like when people are writing songs, since we're talking about water and creativity, a lot of times people are singing about their personal experiences or they could be singing about the experiences of or writing experiences of their producer or a friend, like in defense of a friend. Um, art is so art is so subjective. Um, you don't really you don't really know who's talking about who when you're creating what. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, um,
it's a it's a it's an expression from a personal experience like from a personal perspective right so you may listen to a song or you may look at a piece of art and you say oh when i look at that art you see x y and z somebody may see something totally different it doesn't mean that um it doesn't mean that they're right and you're wrong remember mercury is all about communication messages right what kind of message does certain things send out into the universe right um what frequency are you on what do you want to send what kind of message do you want to send out into the universe do you want to send out a message to the universe that hey you know um I want to be around energies where I see myself going. I want my kids to be around energies where I see them going, that kind of thing. I want them to have a mixture of, you know, whatever it is. I want them to travel. I want them to see the world through a different lens, a broader lens than you did while you were right there experiencing it with them for the first time. So whatever it is, I definitely see somebody really learning how to invest more in yourself invest more in your creativity, um, delivering messages in a way where people, um, cause there's no way that you're going to deliver whatever you create. Somebody's going to get offended because people are at a different phases of their lives. Um, Capricorn. So however you create, there is a group of energies on that frequency that you will attract. So, like I said, make sure you are the energy that you desire to attract. You know what I mean? So, that is what I have for you all as you are creating, 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 and protecting your time during this full moon. Hopefully, this has been really helpful for you all. But so, these are, like I said, affirmations for abundance. You're feeling pretty independent. You are not going to land on the dark side of the number eight. 17, 1 and 7 is 8, right? which is you succumb to passive and powerless behavior and also a person who is egotistical, materialistic, and forceful, right? Again, how you raise your kids, how you raise your inner child, where you are right now, that's entirely up to you. You're creating the life that you desire and somebody is creating a life of abundance. And so, like I said, the is going back to investing in yourself and some people will like it, some people won't. Guess what? It's you, it's your life, you're creating, speaking of water, you're creating, and you're making sure you're around the, you are around the, um, this is earth. Water is guided and shaped by the earth that surrounds it, right? So you're making sure you're putting yourself in places where you can create the life that you desire and whatever that looks like. While other people are putting their water around energies that's going to help and shape and mold them as well. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all on the next reading. Bye.